Good morning, folks. As always, give thanks and praises to your Creator, whoever you might conceive your Creator to be for me. In the above ground is a beautiful day. Let me jump right into this here. Now, I was waking up this morning, I'm thinking about you're not supposed to live like this. You're not supposed to live like this. Now, all those folks that are having the webinars, all the knowledge that we're accumulating, all the wisdom knowledge that we are accumulating over the years what are we doing with it what are we doing with it i mean we know we have nine families that run the planet you have nine families that run in seven billion people and if you are in it by the thousands we should put our energy into eliminating those seven families or nine families that run on the planet because as life goes on as it is now we know that people are losing their houses definitely losing their jobs families are breaking up uh, people can't socialize they can't hang go nowhere you can't fly as free as you would before we know a lot of changes is happening i mean we know it's going to happen for the better but the way it is going now we're not supposed to live like this you know, so I'm saying, listen, folks, all the energy that we're accumulating and using and the wisdom that we're getting, let's use our intentions, our ability. Let's use our way, of, use our way of thinking to eliminate or get rid of these people that's running the planet so we can bring back heaven on earth and live in love and peace and harmony and joy. Because... When you think about it, there's no way that you should be living like this. You know, meaning there's no way that people should be having to worry about where the next meal is going to come from. If they can get a job in the next couple of weeks, how they're going to feed their family, how they're going to feed their children. You know, with all the finances and all the wealth on this planet, every person should live comfortable with a house and a car and financial freedom. And when you actually think about it, I mean, like I said before, all these webinars and, and seminars that we're doing and all these online courses that we're doing, what are we doing with it? We, we're accumulating all the knowledge, yes, but what, you're doing with it, what are you doing with the knowledge that you're accumulating? Are you trying your best to make sure that the planet is the best place to live on? Because this is the only planet we know that we live on. So all the knowledge that we're accumulating over the years, let's put this knowledge and this wisdom and this understanding to practice to make this planet a better place to live on because like i said before life should not be like this nah now people scrambling and you got people just don't know what the next meal is coming from they're shouting at the children they're screaming at the children they 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 casting their mothers and fathers out because you're frustrated. Frustrated. And like I said, let's put our energy into putting light and love back into this planet and live in love and peace and harmony and joy. And I said before in a previous video, every day let's send love and light over the planet. That these people that is running the planet will be gone, gone, gone. And bring back love and harmony and peace on this planet. Because don't feel right like I said we know something is happening but the way that it's going out for the last four, 400 years now nah, man no we should not be living like this so folks put all your intentions all your energy into eliminating these people around the planet whether it be the Raycons the Anunnaki's whoever they might be let them get the fuck off the planet. And let's bring back love, peace, harmony, joy, and happiness back on this planet again. That we can live as one. We can walk outside freely. No mask on your face. We can socialize. We can hang out. We can do what families and friends are supposed to do. Find time to be with each other. Because you see, when the habits have already that's where you get frustrated because we make to be hugging and kissing and holding hands and socializing. And if you can't do that, you get frustrated. You have to have a strong mind not to let it get to you. 
So in the meantime, folks, like I say, don't mind what you're doing or what you're trying to do. Let's try to at least call friends, family, you know, say hi. When you walk on the street, say, hey, what's up, bro? What's up, sis? Speak. You know what I mean? Just don't let them, let them run your life for you because if they do that, you don't know how far we are going to go. We're going to have us like robots. So if you don't want to hug, hey, what's up, bro? What's up, sister? How's your day going? You know what I mean? Send that love to people because they need it. At these times, people need it. So, folks, until then, whatever you do, send love. Because that's the only thing that's going to get us through this year. So, until then, like I was here, send love, love, love. Subscribe, like, thumbs up. I'm out of here.